And welcome back everyone to the OptumCare Virtual Community Center. Today, Vicki's gonna take us through an active stretch class. Now this is a component of fitness that often gets overlooked. We focus on strength training or cardiovascular fitness and we forget completely about stretching. So go ahead and grab a chair and join us for an awesome session. Before engaging in this program, make sure you are in good physical condition and do not suffer from any known disability or condition which would prevent or limit your participation in this exercise program. An examination by a physician should be obtained by anyone prior to commencing a fitness and or exercise program or initiating a substantial change in the amount of regular physical activity performed. If you choose not to obtain a physician's consent prior to beginning this fitness program, you should continue at your own risk. It is your sole responsibility to participate in exercises that are appropriate for the current status of your health. It is your responsibility to ask your doctor if this activity is appropriate before participating. This program is not medically supervised and exercise activities are led by independent fitness instructors or employees of OptumCare. OptumCare Network of Arizona is not responsible for the actions or omissions of the instructors or other program participants. Hey everybody, I am so excited to spend this time with you. This is one of my favorite formats. We are gonna be standing the whole time, so I would like you to have a chair beside you in case you lose your balance or you just need to hang on to something. So let's go ahead and get ourselves set up. We're gonna have our feet about shoulder width apart. We want a slight bend in the knees the whole time. We never wanna lock our knees out. Pull that belly in nice and tight as well too. So let's start with just a nice shoulder roll. So we're gonna take those shoulders back and around. The other thing I wanna talk about while we're doing this, these shoulder rolls is to breathe. It's very easy to hold our breath when we're doing any type of exercise. So we wanna really take nice deep inhales and nice cleansing exhales the whole way through. Let's do about four more of these. So we're gonna go four and three and two and one, very nice. Now I'm gonna turn so you can kind of see me this way. I might be doing a little flip flop in here. So this way, if you need to, you can have your hands on the chair if you need it for balance. Cause all we're gonna do, again, the knees are slightly bent, our bellies are in, we're gonna pull those shoulders back and down and we're just gonna do some heel raises. So we're gonna come up. So again, if you need that little bit of balance, you can have a finger on the chair, you can have both hands on the chair and just come up onto those toes. Nice deep inhale up and exhale, take it down. If you don't need the hands, you wanna use this for a little bit of balance. We are gonna do some balance work in this class as well too. Nice and slow all the way up. Inhale, exhale as we come back down. Let's do four more. Here's four and three. Nice tight bellies this whole time and two. And last one. Now I'm gonna take you back up one more time, but we're gonna hold that balance if we can. Hold it up, ooh, getting a little bit shaky. Hold it for four, three, two, and one. Come back down and just wiggle it out a little bit. All right, again, chair if you need it. Now you'll notice this time, instead of do the heel lift, we're gonna do toe lifts, but we're gonna do these alternating. We don't wanna do them all together because we don't wanna fly backwards. So you can have your hands on your hips, you can have your arms down beside you, you can have your hands on the chair if you need it. We're just gonna lift one foot up, we bring the toes up, feel that stretch in the calves, hold it for a few seconds, bring it back down, now the other side. You're also gonna feel your quads kick in a little bit, right here, the front part of the leg and bring it down, so inhale, draw it up, hold it, don't hold your breath, keep breathing. Drop it back down, let's do two more of these each side. Bring it up, drop it down. How are we feeling so far? Getting a little bit warm? Very nice, okay, one more each side, hold it. Now we're gonna hold these a little bit longer on this last one. Hold it for four, bring those toes up, three, two, and one, drop that one last time, other foot. Bring it up, hold it. Breathe. Four, three, two, and one. Nice, go ahead and wiggle those legs out a little bit. Now I'm gonna turn this way, just so you can see what I'm doing. You can actually stay facing this way, but this way you can have your chair if you need it, because we're gonna take it and we're doing a straight leg, side leg raise. So I'm gonna, again, stay engaged through the belly. 
my knees are soft, especially on my standing leg, and I'm gonna bring my toes up into a slight flex position, and I'm gonna raise that leg up and bring it back down. Now what you wanna feel here is you wanna feel a little bit of a squeeze, okay? Getting a little bit of a stretch through that hip, but we're also working the hip as well. So bring it up, split second hold, bring it dip back down. Now you can see, I always call it, don't go with loosey-goosey feet, right? Here I've got loosey-goosey feet. You can totally tell the difference versus bringing those toes up a little bit with a little bit of a flex. You feel it a little bit more in the hip. We're gonna do this four more times on this side. So there's four and three and two. Now we're gonna hold this last one, bring it back down. Slight bend in that leg, the standing leg, hold it here. Here's your balance move. You can hang onto the chair if you would like or you can release holding it for four three, two, and draw it back down. Very nice, wiggle it out. Gotta work that hip a little bit. Now I'm gonna turn back around here to the other side just so you can kind of see my posture with the chair. We're gonna work the other side. So we're gonna take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, lift that leg up. Remember my toes are lifted. Bring it back down. You've got the chair for balance if you need it. Lift and bring it back down. Are we still breathing? Inhale up. Exhale, bring it back down. Inhale up and bring it back down. Beautiful, how we doing? Warming up those hips. We're also strengthening those hips here as well too. We're gonna stretch out those hips here in a little while as well. We're gonna do four more of these and bring it up. Here's four, three. Try and stay nice and tall as you're bringing that leg up. We don't want to teeter-totter this way. Now hold this last one up, hold it up. Toes are slightly flexed, you can release, hold that balance, or you can hang onto the chair for four, three, woo, two, and one. Bring it back down and then wiggle it out. Very nice, everybody. Okay, so we're gonna stay facing this direction. You might need to back up just a tad because we're going to do some uh, knee raises. Okay, now I don't want to kick my chair, so I'm going to move my chair just a smidge and back up just a smidge. If you need to, you can stay closer to the chair to hang on to it. Tummy is tight, shoulders are back, and we're going to bring that knee up and drop it back down. Now we're alternating on this one, so we're going to do a little bit of a march. And up. And up. Now you'll notice too, if you're hanging on or if you're pulling your belly in and keeping it nice and tight, you're working your lower powerhouse as we bring those knees up. Now watch me on the next lift. We wanna keep our leg in more of a 90 degree angle if we can versus lifting this way because we're losing it in our powerhouse. So we're lifting it up, holding it, dropping it back down. There's that 90 degree angle and back down. Now again, if you need to position yourself beside the chair so you hang on to it, you can certainly do that. We're gonna do this two more times each side. On the last one, we're gonna hold it. Here we go, now hold this next one, hold it up. Here's your balance move. Slight bend in that stable leg, holding it for four, how we doing? Three, two, and one. Other side, last time, bring it up, holding it for four, three, two, woo, and one. Nice, bring it down and shake it out. So standing legs are getting a workout here too on those. Same thing, same position, engage the core, shoulders back. We're gonna do the opposite of that one. All we're gonna do is just do a little butt kick and bring it up and down, up. Now you'll notice on the same thing here with my foot. I don't have a lazy foot. I don't have a loosey-goosey foot, as I call it. So if I flex my foot and really focus on kicking my rear end, I'm gonna feel it in my hamstrings. And squeeze. And squeeze, here's the chair if you need it. And squeeze. Very nice, how we doing, everybody? Like I said, this is one of my favorite classes. We're getting a little strength. A little balance, we're gonna get some stretching in here as well. Squeeze. For an added little 
oomph. Squeeze your tush. Squeeze it as you bring it up. And here's four. And three. And two. And one. We're going to do one more each side, but we're going to hold it. Here's that balance move again. Squeeze, holding it for four, three, two, and one. Other side, drop it down, readjust if you need to. Make sure that standing leg is slightly bent. Bring it up, hold it for four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Bring it back down and kind of walk it out. All right, again, I'm going to stay in the same position. I am going to have hold of my chair, but I'm going to widen my legs out just a little bit because we're going to go lateral. We're going to go side to side. All right, so chair if you need it. We're going to slide our hips back just a touch. We don't want to be here because you'll see how my knees are popping out over my toes. We want to shoot our hips back so our knees stay back. Chairs right here for balance and we're going to, I've got longer legs so I've got to move my legs and my feet out a little bit. And I'm going to take it down and then switch side to side. Very nice. Now, keep your chin up and your chest lifted. So I don't want to go into it like this. I don't want to be collapsed because I'm going to lose a lot of my stretch. So I want to be nice and tall. And I want the main weight to be on my heels. You should feel a nice stretch on the inner thigh. Up and over. Set it down nice and slow. Very nice. Let's do about four more of these, just nice and slow. Here's four. And three. The depth of the drop on these lunges is up to you. Go within your range of motion. Now here's our last one, but we're going to do it one more time each side, and we're going to hold that stretch. So we're going to take it down and hold it. So the more you go into that side with the bent leg, your straight leg is going to feel that stretch. Holding it here. Chest is lifted, chin is lifted, holding it for four, three, two. Now power off off the heel, come back to the other side and do the same thing. Sit into it, breathe, holding it for four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, everybody. Bring it in and just walk those feet in. And as I say, wiggle it out. So kind of move everything out. All right, so again, chair can be right here in case you need it. And all I'm going to do is I'm either going to cross my hands over my heart or you can go hands behind the head. It's totally up to you. We're going to work those sides of those obliques. So I'm going to widen out my legs just a tiny bit, make sure my knees are slightly bent. Again, belly's engaged. I'm going to start out right here. So now what I'm going to do is just go to the side and then back up and to the other side and inhale back up. Now, in essence, what I'm doing here, when I'm bending over on this side, I'm squeezing into it like I'm pinching my finger, but yet I'm getting a stretch on the other side. So we're working both sides actually and over, inhale back up to get a little bit more out of the stretch on these, you can take your hands behind your head if that doesn't bother your shoulders. You can even go up above your head. It's totally up to you. And nice and slow, belly is engaged, take it over. Now we're gonna do two more of these, each side, starting here. So here's two, inhale back up, exhale over. We're gonna do one more each side. Now we're not going to hold these because we're actually going to go into a different stretch for each side. So come back up to center, release those shoulders, we're going to nod a little bit. All right, so this is a little bit of a tricky part. I'm going to have the chair here in case I need to hang on to it, which you might if this is the first time you've done this. I'm going to step away from the chair just a tiny bit and my outside leg is going to cross over my inside of my leg. Now again, my knees are going to stay slightly bent. I don't want to lock out because I don't want to get all dizzy and, and start spinning. And then I'm going to take my arm up a little bit. Keep that elbow slightly bent because that will take some of the pressure off the shoulders. And I'm just going to reach over my head. Now you'll notice I'm going to get that stretch here in my oblique, but we're going to take it a little bit deeper. Think of yourself in a banana position, if you will. 
making a nice big banana. So I'm going to push my hips out to the side as well, still reaching over and just trying to really banana myself out or even a C position if you think of it that way. And now I'm getting it all the way down my arm, tricep, down my oblique, into my hip and down into my leg as well. And holding that, if it bothers your shoulders at all, all you have to do is release and grab onto that opposite shoulder and just really pop out that hip. So that's totally optional. And breathe through it. You should feel this in your hips. This is a great stretch. Let's hold it for another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now coming out of it very slow. Woo, you're gonna feel it. Bring it down, bring that leg around, and just move it out. Okay, so I'm gonna position myself to the other side of the chair just in case we need that balance. So I'm just gonna take my chair and I'm gonna shift it to the other side because we're gonna do the same thing other side. Let me move it just a little bit, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna step away from my chair. I've got it for balance, my outside leg again is gonna cross over. Now, if you want a little bit deeper, if you feel like you need a little bit deeper, just take yourself away from the chair just a tiny little bit. Engage the belly again, roll the shoulders, make sure those knees are soft, and we're gonna take that arm up and over. Now, there's a big difference if I'm standing straight up and I'm just taking my arm like this, right? I'm not really getting that stretch in through here. I really need to kind of C curve and bend myself over and also push those hips out to the side. And the farther that you can reach over, if that's not bothering your shoulder, the deeper you're gonna feel that stretch. And we also wanna keep our chest square toward the front, meaning I'm not like this. All right, I wanna stay looking forward. My chest is forward towards you. And we're reaching over, pushing those hips out and breathing. And you'll notice the longer you hold these stretches, the more the muscles are gonna relax and release. And that's how we get a little bit better at our stretches. That's how we can go a little bit deeper every time we do them. Breathe, let's hold it for another eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, again, very gently, very slowly, bring it back up, drop that arm, roll that shoulder, uncross that leg, and walk it out a bit again. All right, now this next one that we're gonna do, you can either actually either do it with a chair or you can do it standing, okay? We're gonna do some cat-cows. So I'm gonna turn because it's really important that you see the position of my torso and my back. If you need to, you're gonna go down into the chair and do the same thing, but I'm gonna stand and do them right here. So I am going to take my hands right above my knees, okay? On the first one, so we're gonna do our cat. So what does a cat usually do when they, when they get up from a nap? They, they stretch and they round. So I'm gonna round that back. Think of a C curve in your back, right? I'm really trying to open up my spine. My chin is relaxed, but it's going down toward my chest. I'm still breathing and I'm pushing that spine out and opening up those vertebrae. Now, as I take my next inhale, I'm gonna come into cow. So I'm going to take my tailbone and just move it back a little bit. I'm gonna drop my belly and lift my chin. So now my belly is dropped and I've changed the position of my spine. Now I'm a little bit more of an arch with my tailbone lifted. And breathing. Nice deep inhale. Exhale to cat, so we're gonna reverse it, opposite it out. Again, if you're in the chair, you're right here. So here's my cat in the chair, bringing that spine up. Lengthening everything out. Should feel really good on the lower back. Inhale, drop it back down to cow. I'm gonna drop my belly, lift my tailbone, lift my chin. And again, continuing nice, deep breaths. 
Let's do two more of these. Round it out to cat. Drop it to cow. Round it to cat. And one more to cow. Very nice, everybody. Okay, so to go ahead and get yourself up, you can just roll it up and roll those shoulders back and around. Great job. All right, so let's work a little bit on the upper body. Again, I'm gonna turn to the side a little bit. I'm gonna take my hands, so I'm gonna take my palms out to the side, shoulders are back, engage the core, knees are soft, and I'm just gonna open my chest. So this is what it looks like from the front. And I'm getting that upper blade of the chest right across here, just opening it up. Now, if you can go deeper and you need a little bit deeper stretch, you're gonna take those hands back behind your back, interlock. I'm still gonna open up the chest, but I have to open it up. I could stand here like this, right? But I really wanna get that opening of my chest. So I'm gonna open and pull those shoulders back. And I'm also going to lift my arms just a little bit. That's gonna deepen that stretch through the shoulders and through the chest as well. And breathe. Okay, we're gonna take it one more step, holding this position. Now, remember, break anytime you need to. If you feel like this is getting a little too much, break out of it and then shake yourself out, come back into it. So here I'm holding that position, holding the stretch. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hands toward my rear end, or I'm just gonna keep them open here. I'm gonna take my chin to the chest, and I'm gonna push my hands and my shoulders to the floor. So now I've taken it from upper blade of my chest, and now I'm taking it into my neck, down my traps, and a little bit in through my delts by pressing down. And still breathing. How's this feeling? Again, if it gets a little bit too much for the neck, you can always bring the chin back up and just hold it for the arms and the shoulders and the chest. Let's hold it for another eight. I'm gonna turn seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful release. Shake it out. Okay, we're winding down. Just a couple more. Shake out those hands. We're going to take the hands back behind the head, right? Now, all I'm going to do, I'm going to stand up nice and tall, but I still want my knees slightly bent because I don't want to lock my knees out. I'm going to pull my elbows back. And now, again, I'm opening up through here. Now what I'm gonna do also is I'm gonna look up to the ceiling. I'm gonna open up my belly ah, and breathe. Let's hold this for eight, seven, squeeze those shoulder blades, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it back in and gently release and wiggle great job okay last one to kind of loosen everything up we're going to turn, turn toward our chair we're going to hinge over hands are going to go on the seat of the chair i'm going to release one of my hands notice my back is straight my knees are soft i'm going to release one of my hands and just let my shoulder relax i'm going to circle it out you can do this actually with a slight small weight as well too this really opens up the shoulder capsule reverse that circle Hand goes back up on the chair, and then we're gonna do the same thing other side. Just relax it, circle it, reverse it, and stop that circle, come back up onto the chair, roll it up. We're gonna take a nice deep inhale up, and exhale, let's do it a couple more times. Inhale up. And exhale, last one. Beautiful job today, everybody. We are done. Come back and see us soon. Thanks so much.